Hey students, welcome to the first material for this module of this week. Congratulations, we're getting started. Notice that you have to complete this module before moving on to the next module. Basically, you've already completed it by viewing it, but let's just spend a moment and talk about what we're looking at here. This is the learning objectives and pacing guide, and you're gonna see this at the beginning of each week. First, let's start with the learning targets. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you my page here. Here are the learning targets for the week. It's all about double replacement reactions. Make sure you read through these learning targets about how we can uh, determine if a reaction product will be soluble or insoluble using solubility rules. This is a review of stuff we talked about before, but it relates double replacement reactions, so we got to remind ourselves about it. I can identify double replacement reactions and predict the products given only the reactants. And finally, I can model how double replacement reactions work at the atomic level. I recommend you write these down at the beginning of your notebook or on a, on a page and start collecting these materials throughout this unit. That way you have it to use as you do the assessments and start doing the assignments. Now we do have some suggested pacing here. Um, here's some pacing and you'll notice that I have through or we have throughout the week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday some suggestions for you to do each day. Don't do everything in one day. It's easy to put it off. I know this is the hardest part about distant learning is self-pacing your is self-pacing but you need to make sure that maybe daily you do something or plan out your day accordingly. So Monday I recommend watching this video. Hopefully you're already here. You might also do the notes on double replacement reactions and take the little self-check quiz with the notes and then start the discussion. Now, I want to mention the discussion. You'll notice you'll see the discussion every day of the week. The discussion is meant for you to visit often, to ask questions and to collaborate with your peers. It's also an area that your teachers are going to visit to see if you how we can help you better. When we do live teacher session throughout the week, we might we really recommend you join those sessions and we'll answer your discussion questions and encourage that collaboration as well. So Tuesday, after you've done the notes on Monday, Tuesday, do the practice, double replacement reactions. And then again, go back to the discussion. See if you can answer some of those questions other students posted or even maybe you posted, as well as ask any more questions you might have. On Wednesday, do the activity, a double replacement reaction modeling activity. You're going to be using things around your house to model double replacement reactions. And there's a video tutorial there as well as a submission. And then there, again, visit those discussions to ask more questions or better yet, answer the questions and show that you really know what's going on. On. on Thursday is a day to prepare for the assessment. So Thursday, again, visit the discussions like always. R remind yourself about the learning targets. And then there's a tutorial that we'll have similar to this one where we'll teach you guys how to prepare for the quiz. On Friday, take the quiz for this module. That's the finishing step to show that you understand what's going on and really know how to do things. We'll also post a survey at the very end after you've done all the completion rules that lets you kind of get feedback for yourself as well as feedback for us, the teachers and the instructors to help prepare you for the next to prepare for the next week. But good luck guys. Get started. Keep going.